Nations fennel. Oh my god, I've read about roasting fennel, but I never thought it would make much of a difference. But you roast this bad boy up in the oven, slice it up, drizzle of olive oil, pop it into the oven, roast it up so you get a little bit of colour, into a ramekin, fresh ricotta, pan grattata, fry off some breadcrumbs with a bit of olive oil, uh, chilli, garlic, parsley, stick it on the top, pop the whole thing in the oven. Oh my god, utterly incredible. But I'm not actually doing a um, new taste sensation today. I'm doing one of my personal all-time favourites. I'm going to cook up for you some pasta puttanesca. So here I've got some pasta that I made earlier with three eggs, some double O flour, a little bit of water and salt. So we're just going to put it into the pot of boiling water and that'll just take a couple of minutes to cook. So here's my puttanesca sauce that I've made earlier. It's the magic of television. All you need to do is heat up a little bit of olive oil in the pan and you add your garlic, anchovies, and you cook them off for a little while, a bit of dried chilli. And that's where you can make the puttanesca for your own. You can add heaps and heaps of garlic and make it really sexy and earthy with lots of anchovies. Or you can back it off. It depends on who you're cooking for. So you just cook those off, add a couple of cans of tomatoes or a big bottle of passata, and then you just cook that down until you've got a nice rich tomato sauce consistency. Then I'm going to just drain off my pasta. It only takes a couple of minutes to cook fresh pasta. It's the joy of making it yourself. And I love making fresh pasta. It's something that I'm relatively new, new to. But um, I'm working at it hard. And I find it a lot of fun. It's really satisfying. And you can even freeze pasta. Okay? Pop it in the freezer and then you can just defrost it in the morning and pop it through your, pop it through your pasta roller. And on you go. So here's your fresh pasta. All you need to do now is, I like to give it a little drizzle of olive oil. It just sort of makes it a little bit sookier. A little drizzle of olive oil. Stir it through there, and then you pop it straight into your sauce. You can coat it with as much tomato sauce as you want. Some people like more, some people like less. It's really up to you. It's up to your tastes. Into the bowl. It's not the sexiest serving technique that I'm using here today, but hey, that's the way it goes. That's why you always have a tea towel at hand. Wipe the rim of the bowl, shred over a little bit of basil, maybe a little bit more shredded than what I'm doing right now. Can't shred the basil. And there you go, pasta puttanesca, one of my favourite meals. Something else I've been getting excited about in the kitchen are jellies. Mexican may be the new black, but I think jellies are going to be the new black of the dessert world. Surely macarons have had their time to shine. All you need to do, it's pretty simple really, is make two different jellies and then you layer them in the fridge, letting them cool between each layer. This kind of stuff excites me. It's, it's, it's fun and new. That's what I like about food. Things that are new and unfamiliar. I love sharing food with my family and friends. It's how I show people that I love them. And I hope I get to do that with you too.